Welcome to the Super Expander Podcast. My name is Corrine Phelps, your host. I'm a business and growth coach, money mindset expert, and a multi-passionate entrepreneur. My journey has taken me all over from working in finance to owning a boutique fitness studio. I found myself burnt out, miserable, and questioning everything. Saying things to myself like, there's got to be more to life than this. Refusing to settle for a mediocre existence, I went all in, learning how to harness untapped potential and rewire the subconscious mind to create an extraordinary life. The last 10 years have been a crash course in self-love, building a business, creating community, building wealth, and doing what it takes to just freaking go for it. My mission is to help you align to your purpose, Rewire your subconscious to support your big dreams and vision and create a life that you're absolutely obsessed with. So sit back, tune in, and prepare to expand. Hello, hello, super expanders, my loves. How are you doing? Welcome back. I am feeling all the feels today because I have this idea that I was going to walk you through a very specific journey. So today is day one of a five-day journey that is going to be released every Tuesday for the next five Tuesdays. And what planted this seed, this idea, this desire is because I am right now in the thick of leading the Wealth Catalyst program, which is my signature program, helping entrepreneurs really step in to new levels of wealth through the release of generational patterns associated with money. It's an immersive experience to unlock really your highest wealth potential. And while I, of course, can't take you through the entire process because it's a 10 week process, It's a very intimate group of human beings all working together, reaching for their highest potential. But what I'm going to do is kind of give you a little glimmer, a little hint, a little snapshot of what this work is like, what it would be like for you to get inside of this program. So if you've ever had the desire to create more wealth in your life, then the next five weeks for you. And it's a multifaceted approach here because how I run my programs is through a combination of, of coaching, of teaching and using breath work. So what the topic is today, what the theme is today is releasing money blocks and doing money shadow work because we really have to get into the depths of what our connection emotionally, what our traumas are, what our fears are around money in order to start building wealth. And I want to reverse back just a minute here because when I use the word wealth, I am not only speaking of money and dollars in the bank. I believe that wealth has four quadrants that we really need to focus on to foster a holistic approach to wealth. And that is our emotional wealth, which comes to our own self-love. It comes to, comes down to fostering deeper relationship with our partner, with our family, with our friends, spiritual health, which is a, a journey and a connection into connecting to your own internal power and spirituality and source, as well as physical wealth. So making sure that you are nurturing your body, getting enough sleep, um, moving your body, all the things, really attending to your own physical health and well-being. And then, of course, our financial health. And so inside of the Wealth Catalyst, we approach wealth from a very holistic fashion. And when I start talking about money, so I really believe that our thoughts, our patterns, all of it really has nothing to do with money. And much like a lot of our beliefs, well, all of our beliefs originated from someone else, right? So they were passed on to you. They were given 
to you. And our work is to get to the root, to identify, identify what serves us, what doesn't serve us in order to start creating the reality that we desire. And then until we do that, really what happens is our past predicts our future, right? So our internal beliefs that have been passed on to us will keep repeating themselves, creating the same reality unless we go in and do the work. And so when it comes to wealth, we have to dig in. We have to go into the shadows of our connection emotionally to money in order to generate more wealth in our lives. So what we're going to do today is really dive into what those blocks are and connect with them and then release them. And how we're going to do that is through a breathwork session and a releasing money blocks breathwork session. So if you're new here and you've never experienced breathwork, amazing. And I'm going to give you a little bit of detail of what this is going to be like before we go into it. So it's really common listening to a podcast to be in your car. So if you are driving, this is not the appropriate time for you to be experiencing breath work, right? Because you actually have to be fully present to breathe and breathing. You cannot do this while you are driving. So this is, this is for you to come back to when you can lay down on your couch, on your floor, something like that, because yeah, it's not safe to experience this while driving. And if this is the first time that you have ever experienced breath work and you're in a quiet, safe container, safe place to experience this, amazing. What you're going to need in order to experience this is something to cover your eyes. You're probably going to want a blanket. You should grab a journal because a lot of things really powerfully come through in a breath work experience. And afterwards, it is really best to try to take the moment to really get pen to paper and get out what came up for you. Because often the thoughts, the insights, the breakthroughs that we have, have this dream like quality. And when we take a, a moment or two to actually crystallize it, then we start to rewire our brain to step into that new reality. So hypno breath work, which is what we are about to experience, takes three things and combines it all together. We take breath work, hypnosis, and visioning, and we fuse them all together in this really powerful, like impactful, succinct experience. So what the breath work does is it infuses your body with tons of oxygen. It floods the body with oxygen. And through that process, the pH of your blood actually changes, which changes the chemistry in our brain, allowing the doors to the subconscious mind to open and kind of hitting pause, if you will, on your prefrontal cortex. And our prefrontal cortex is the place where thought, habitual thought patterns and loops just kind of circle. It's the place that keeps us stuck in one way of thinking, oftentimes rooted in fear or scarcity. It's the place that our ego tends to hang out. The, the part of you that likes to talk you out of listening to your intuition. It's the logical mind. And every once in a while, it's a pretty good thing to let that part of your mind take a break. It's a very important part of, you know, we, we use our, our conscious brain. And in fact, I think when we get into this coherent state, the subconscious and the conscious brain really get to work together in a powerful way to innovate and to create an extraordinary life. But we really have to open the doors to the subconscious mind to connect with the intuition to really start to create new ways of being new beliefs. When we do that through hypnotic cueing, we actually allow those patterns to basically override, right? We all have an operating system essentially in our brain. And when we start to rewrite and re rewire the subconscious, we're giving our operating system an upgrade. After we've done this, we start to step into a visioning process. And if you are a fan of Dr. Joe Dispenza, we took a page from his book. And when you start to create a crystal clear, crisp vision of what it is that you desire, 
we actually start to create new neural pathways in our brain. And what that really means is that when you come back into the waking here and now, it means that when you go to take action on something, it doesn't feel like you're doing it for the first time, which means it's not as scary. It doesn't feel foreign. You feel like you've been doing it forever. So you feel more skilled, more competent, all the things. So that is essentially what a hypno breath work experience is like. And that's what you're going to experience today. So if you have ever had an experience with money, because that's, that's our focus today, where you felt like you didn't know where money was going to come from. Um, you felt this mode of scarcity, like, Oh my gosh, that's too expensive. Or how could she possibly do that? Or things around money triggered you. Or possibly, if you have no problem making money, but you have a tremendous hard time holding on to it, what we're going to do is really explore your feelings, your emotions around money and where they came from. And a tip for you here, or an insight, is that these things, these feelings, these emotions are rooted in your childhood. They came from a time in your life when you weren't fully formed, that your brain wasn't fully formed. You didn't really have a choice in how you were going to think and feel around finances, around money. They came from your parents, came from, from your caregivers, from your environment, from perhaps television even, that you were watching as a child, and it got rooted in your subconscious mind. And these emotions, these stories, these past experiences start to play out in your financial life as an adult. They block us from creating more wealth, oftentimes making us feel rooted in scarcity or rebelling completely against money. So how we behave with money is a mirror. It places a spotlight on the things that oftentimes we are avoiding. It has a, a knack for showing us the places where we're blocked, revealing things that we need to heal. Our subconscious money work is actually an act of self-love. So what you're about to experience today truly is an act of self-love. I have a question for you. Have you joined the super expander free mentorship community? If not, what are you waiting for? Stop what you're doing right now and text the word mentor to 202-918-3235. Text the word mentor to 202-918-3235. I send out weekly tips and inspiration to help you grow your business, to step into your wealthiest, most highest self, to harness your full potential and live an exceptional and extraordinary life. And the best part is it's really me sending those messages. So text me, say hello, and send me your questions. All right. If you are ready, here we go. So quick little refresher or explanation, the breath pattern that you are going to experience inside of this modality is a three part breath. You're going to take a nice deep breath into your belly and then a deep breath into your heart and then exhale release. So with this breath pattern, it is connected. It's circular. There's no pauses in this breath pattern. It is very common to experience tingling sensations. It's also very common to experience emotions and distractions in your mind. So really the best solution, the best focus throughout all of this is really to focus on your breath, right? The best way through is through your breath. If any sort of tingling sensation becomes uncomfortable and you don't like it, all you have to do is stop and return to a normal, natural breath pattern. Let's get ready to do this. So go ahead and get yourself settled in. If you have something to cover your eyes, 
go ahead and grab that. If you have a blanket, you might want to have that handy. I always get a little bit chilly. And we're going to buckle up and experience a hypnobreathwork session. Welcome to Releasing Money Blocks with Corrine Phelps. Get settled, grab your blindfold, and get ready to breathe. Get started. Deep breath into your belly. Deep breath into your chest. Exhale, sigh it out. Deep breath into your belly. Deep breath into your chest. Exhale, sigh it out. Deep into the belly. Deep into the chest. Exhale, sigh it out. distractions and the resistance to melt away deep into the belly deep into the chest exhale sigh it out deep into the belly deep into the chest exhale sigh it out
the shoulders, shake out the tingling and the buzzing. Everything you are experiencing is perfectly normal. Deepen your breath into your belly, into the chest. Exhale, belly, chest, exhale. subconscious mind what is the source of your money blocks see your money blocks now permission. Give yourself permission to feel in to what is blocking you. You're so safe. Feel into it. Deep into the belly, deep into the chest. Exhale. Deep into the belly, deep into the chest.
See what is blocking you. Dig down deep, wrap your breath around it, and exhale out. Breathing in new energy around how money gets to flow with ease. Dig down, wrap your breath around it, and exhale out. breath into your belly, deep breath into your chest, exhale, deep breath into your belly, deep breath into your chest, exhale. vision, feel it. mind. What is your next action step to bring this vision to life?
Allow your breath to return to its normal cadence and drop into a deep meditative state. Begin to see a golden light at the center of your chest, swirling, expanding, and as it expands, it envelops your whole body like an aura, continuing to expand, it fills the room, still growing, filling the entire space of your home, spilling out into the streets, expanding to the sky. As you're ready, wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, and come back to a seated position. Well, welcome back and into the here and now. So as you are coming out of this breathwork experience, I want you to do a few things. I'm going to give a couple of recommendations for you here. One is to take a moment and to like grab a pen and paper, a journal, something, and really start to crystallize all the things that came through for you. 
because the downloads, the visuals, the experiences, all of it has an element of this dream like quality. If we don't take the time to integrate it. And when you take the, these like few moments to put pen to paper, there is actual, like you're anchoring in real neurology into your brain of these experiences you're anchoring it in so that when you go to reach for it later, that you can actually latch back onto it and either drop back into ex- the experience or start to really step into those intuitive actions if you're not moving into them right in this moment. Key, key thing. Second is this is a five part series. So no matter what session you are coming in on makes no difference whether you're on day one or you're on day four makes no difference. But what I highly recommend is for you to make sure that you experience each one of the sessions. So make sure that you go back and you experience them all, or you follow along on the entire journey. And then what I'd love to hear from you is after you have completed all five of them, what your massive takeaways have been. And here's the thing. So if you've had a massive takeaway through a guided session like this, I just want you to imagine the power of what might happen if you and I dropped in and did this live, whether it was virtually or in person, because recorded is amazing, but I must tell you that live customized sessions are truly the gold standard. And what you'd experience in a session that was guided one to one, you think the downloads coming out of a, a recorded session like this are powerful. I, I just can't even tell you. So if you felt the tingles, if you felt a actual experience, you had a sensation, you had an action step that came through in this you need to reach out. We need to talk because a live customized session would truly change your life. 